Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Libra, here are your cards for this week, starting the 18th of September from the Teacup Tarot deck. And your overall energy here is the nine of pencils. And this card says, stay positive and focus on what could go right. Now, very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So optimism, positivity and look at the card here she's taking no notice of this yo-yo behind her she's simply focused on the one that's bringing her joy that's working properly and the one that is working correctly so focusing on what's going right that's what you need to do this week your help or your hurdle, we've got the page of teacups. Now the pages all bring a message. They all have an envelope with them. And the page of teacups brings a message of love and appreciation. So you might get a lovely email. You might get an old fashioned letter. You might get a text from someone saying how much they appreciate you. It can be as well, uh, a lovely relationship moving on to the next level. So focus on what could go right. This also says trust your intuition. It's there to help you. Go within. How do you feel? Do you feel really excited and happy about something? That's a really good signal to move forward in that direction. Your guidance here upsteps the king of wands. Now, the kings are authority figures. The king of wands absolutely personifies confidence, self-belief and success. Now, he's very, he's very successful because he's had to learn how to be. Very much an entrepreneurial energy, a business energy. And the important thing with this King of Wands card is that they are happy to share all their knowledge and wisdom with other people to help them along. So this could be you stepping up to help somebody with a how to plan. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you with your how to plan to move towards success. How can we help ourselves? The High Priestess card shows up. Now, this card's been showing up in the other readings as well. This card says, just step back, take your time and think it through. So no rushed decisions, no rash decisions. Read the information, find out all you can about it, and then ask yourself this question. Is it what I really would like to do? So this is the card that just says, just slow down and take your time, gather all your information together. The Four of Pencils says a similar got a similar energy. This says take some time out. It's time for you to rest and relax. Now our lovely angels look, they've got the feet up and they're reading, having a cup of tea. And in this time of rest, we very often think nothing's happening when in fact everything is happening. Because when we leave this space, we are much more open to hear the prompts from the universe and the lovely whispering guidance from our angels. So taking time out here, and again, they're reading, they're all reading, so find out all your information. And then your final outcome card, the ego card said, it's time to leave behind anything that's weighing you down or holding you back. Heavy things like these rocks on the picture here. Anger, fear, stress, guilt self-sabotage. 
Look how easily our lovely angel is moving forward when she carries balloons instead of rocks, which are clearly so much lighter. These are self-belief, optimism, positivity and confidence and allow those to lead the way and open up the road in front of you. So let's just look at the tarot cards on their own. Focusing on what could go right, following your intuition, finding out information and taking your time and getting your how-to plan together and then getting ready to move on with confidence. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. Moving on, that's exactly what the Seven of Wisdom card is all about. Making your move forward with balance and with discipline. So you're obviously going to do your homework and then make your move forward in a sensible and balanced way. It may involve compromise. It may involve mixing ideas together. But we were talking about moving forward in a balanced way. And the 14 of Wisdom is just that, the card of balance. The seven of life says, do the groundwork, plant the seeds, and then no need to worry and know that success will come in divine and appropriate timing. Here's your success. It's lovely. 19 of wisdom, the sun card in traditional tarot. Here you are enjoying happiness and joy and success. And this card gives you a little nudge as well to act on your brilliant new ideas. The 16 of wisdom is about positive changes. You choosing to make those life changes finding what you're looking for, doing what you do well, focusing on your gifts and talents and making those positive changes. And your final outcome card is a mindfulness card and it says pause, think it through, meditate and rest. That's just what we're saying here. In fact, this is a double message. It's the same card, different deck. Take your time to think things through. So looking at your reading overall, your mindfulness homework is just what I've said here. Take your time, step back, think it all through. Just make sure you have all your information. Focus on what could go right and be ready to compromise and mix ideas together. Because the movement forward is here. The how-to plan is here. This asks you to do the groundwork and get yourself moving in that positive direction. Make these positive changes. Leave behind anything that's been weighing you down. Because here's the success. Here's the happiness. And here are the brilliant, optimistic new ideas. And this card says, start acting on those and start taking those steps on this brilliant new action plan. So have a busy week. I think you will have a wonderful week. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. So enjoy and thank you for enjoying the reading as well. And I'll see you here again next week. So take care. And I'll see you soon.